these players are on the last year of their contract. All right, gentlemen, we've made way too many mistakes this week, okay? Football's a simple game, but you keep making these silly mistakes. <laughs> so let's get out there and let's have a good... Here we go, here we go. Panther 60, Panther 60. Go! Man, that was great. I mean, you had a great day today. The game is really starting to slow down for you, isn't it? I can't wait to see what you're going to do on Sunday. Good job. Today, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, it's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. Gets past one man. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. A look there at his numbers on the ground a week ago. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. And, Charles, we get a look here at the key inactives, and I tell you what, a big list for being this early in the season. If there's any silver lining at all, you're hoping you can get these guys back, and now you'll play well down the stretch with them. But what you're also hoping is that the guys who have to play for them, the next man up mentality kicks in, and those guys take care of business. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Call it a pickup of three and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep, Antonio Brown. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Oh, now a hit and a loose football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, L.A. Matt Gay on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. So here are the Bucks now to take over for the first time. And they'll be let out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Second and 21. A lot of ground to cover. Oh, he fakes a spike. Buying time to his left. Airing this one out for Evans. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll look to throw. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Aaron Donald with a sack. And boy, down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. Oh, he didn't spike it. He faked it. Flush to his right. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now, boy, the ball. Entering player stats screen, you have 19 options. Menu narration option is set to office selected. here inside the 10 yard line i don't know why you would do that it's almost guaranteed points the other way i mean i get it if it's a late game situation maybe even fourth and inches but boy that's a huge risk to take yeah now they're set up in prime position going the other way 
That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. That catch now puts him on the doorstep of 500. It's his 499th reception. They'll look to run with Akers. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. His third rushing touchdown of the year, his fifth overall. And the Rams are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. They have the short field, and they make quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he returns this to the 22. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, it caused, all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end. It got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit, and that might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. Now a play fake here on first down. Being chased out left. Airing this one out for Evans. Got a man that's caught at the six-yard line. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Down in this one, they needed that score, but they'll have to hold at least for the time being. You're exactly right. Points that they had to have. As you said, they have to regroup now and see if they can get them another way. On the move to his left. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes, it's a catch. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. Sean McVay unhappy on the sidelines visibly. He's made the decision to reach for the red flag. And the thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football. And you know, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football. That's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Back to throw again. Flushed out right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Come on, go! So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Oh, they flip it 
to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. The shotgun snap for Stafford. In trouble in the balls. And Stafford's going to be taken down. That's a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. They go play action here on first down. Steps away. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Oh, he fakes a spike. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big connection on that one. 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Now he'll let it go on the run, deep left side. And this is caught inside the five. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A big play that time through the air, 35 yards. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive, and these aren't ordinary completions, they're big ones. Yeah, and these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way, oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. Jones, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They'll try again with Jones. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Sucker on now for the Buccaneer field goal. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The offense is going to stay out there. We'll see what the play call is. They need to find the right one here on fourth and goal. They'll go with Jones. And he didn't get there. Knocked backwards to the two-yard line. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Rams defense comes up with a goal line stand. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. No gain on the play there. Second down. Stafford going to give this to Akers. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. On the give, this is Akers. And he'll get inside the ten, but he's short of the line he needed. It's a pickup of six, but it's not going to be enough. And the punt team's going to be summoned on fourth down. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. With it is Brown. Shot. 
So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Forced out to his left. Going deep this time for Miller. And that nearly intercepted. With a free safety roaming into position. Almost had it, but it's second down. Second and 10. He'll look to throw. And this throw incomplete. Have the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll look to throw here. Dancing to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown! Mike Evans. His second touchdown on the season. And the Bucs have made this a one-score game. His first career touchdown pass, and, you know, it's cliche to say, but he's probably been envisioning this since he was a little kid. That's a cool moment. It really is. So enjoy the moment. Enjoy the time. Celebrate. Save the full reflection for later. But make sure you grab someone on the sidelines and say, hey, make sure I get that football, okay? Ryan suck up on for the point after. And this is back to a five point game. Scoring summary, three play drive. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. And he has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path, a significant number. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Stafford looks to throw again. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. From the 44, Stafford. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big connection on that one. 33 yards. On first down at Stafford. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Out of the gun, Stafford. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Throwing again at Stafford. Touchdown, Rams! Odell Beckham in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Four 
four seconds. All that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Well, the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee and that should do it for half number one. So we come upon halftime and what's a 12-point game at the break. And we will skip the highlight show this week, get right back to this week three matchup. So this a two-possession ball game as we get back underway, set for the third quarter. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And we shift to spotlighting Mike Evans. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute again. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey, and they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. After the interception, here's Stafford. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. With Josh Reynolds in Tennessee now, the Rams are eager to see what they have in Van Jefferson, a second-round pick last year out of Florida. And he gives them a nice catch there for a first down. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at 19. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. Off of play action, here's Stafford. It's caught by OBJ. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far on this drive. This offense on the march. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Akers, and he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Rams add on to their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and that will make this a 19-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I'm here my old college coach right now. 
He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. On play action, they'll throw. Buying time to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Eluding the pressure right. And that nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. Now remember, he had a pick earlier, but couldn't reel that one in. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Being chased out left. Airing this one out for Evans. And this is caught inside the five. A big play that time through the air. 37 yards. Now look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in a cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Le'Veon Bell, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Bucs are able to cut in and out of that deficit. Extra point put through by Suckham. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a Le'Veon Bell touchdown run. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here are the Rams to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. On the handoff, it's Akers. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. He'll dump this off to Akers. That catch good for only a couple. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They'll run on first down with Akers. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Now it did. Touchdown, LA! Odell Beckham with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Rams are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. 
Extra point by Gain is up and good. And that will make this a 19-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll drop the throw. Steps away to his left. Bearing this one out for Evans. And at the seven yard line, the catch is made. A big connection on that one. 36 yards. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. And the Rams are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. Going right back to Akers. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on his faces. And I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, oh, he's got a man complete. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here, we do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Brutal. So take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. So the illegal forward pass also costs him a down. And now it's second and long. Forced out to his left. And break. The tight end's got it. That's really good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Dancing to his left. He's going to let it fly. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Taylor Rapp with a pick. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. <laughs> to throw is Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A.
Now Brown. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. A time to get another look at this Buccaneer offense. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. He didn't spike it. He faked it. Buying time to his left. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're dead. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they could look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for L.A., it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 and now on the young season. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter. Bring your lunch pails, fellas. I need to see that workman attitude today. What I want to know is, who's ready to get better? Ready, ready? Cougar 19! And Gentlemen, 
Achieving our goal starts right here on a practice field. I can't stress that enough. You all know we have lost. Tonight, from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Gunnar Olszewski bringing it out. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. With that field position after the return, wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. On the give, this is Harris. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. So a glance here at the key inactives. It, it, there's other reasons, but this list, one of the reasons they've been struggling some this year. And one that they won't make excuses with, but everyone knows that this is the key reason. Without these players, it's made it very difficult for them this season. They've battled, they've scrapped, but without those guys, hard to win games. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing Jones. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The completion there by Mac Jones. And Charles, what do you think this defense needs to do to slow down this young rookie from Alabama? Well, as usual with a rookie, pass rush is big. Put some pressure on him and see if he can handle things in the pocket. But the other one is your defensive backs, linebackers who are covering people, they need to be on the spot because he's extremely accurate with the ball. He doesn't miss very many throws downfield, puts it right on his receivers. You have to be there to stop them at the point of the catch. And he'll get it down here to the 43. 
Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. On second down, this is Harris. And he gets it down to the 32. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second down, it's Harris. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And Harris is not going to get there. Great work defensively to stop him short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. They'll run for it. It's Stevenson. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. It's a big play there for the Buccaneers. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Escaping the pressure right. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Buccaneers on just two plays have taken the lead. You'd have to imagine for a team that's lost three straight games, scoring first in this first quarter has to feel pretty good. It has to feel great for them. And also, it's a nice signal to the rest of the team because we talk about complimentary football all the time. So they've now signaled to the defense, now signaled to the kicking game. Hey, we're here to play in this one. We're going to do our part. Let's see if you guys will do the exact same and we can break this losing streak. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Taking it about the one. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. He trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. <laughs> well, we'll see what his offense can do. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. I think you mentioned in the opening drive that these guys needed to establish the run, protect the young QB. I actually wrote that down, believe it or not. So how would you assess things so far? I'm kind of touched that you actually wrote something like that down. <laughs> I appreciate that, partner. But I do think they've been able to do that. Maybe not as effectively as they wanted to. 
but I think we'll see more of as this game goes along because they want to continue to take care of that young QB. Here's second and ten. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Jones got his man complete over the middle. That's Henry. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And well done here. That one will kick out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. Being chased out left. Airing this one out for Evans. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Oh, why are we doing this? Now, that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right, airing this one out for Evans. And got his man complete. And all the way down to the 42. that wipes out the big play and I know this is the NFL so they would probably fine you for this type of a penalty but when I was in college you used to have to do up downs for the number of yards that you cost a team in a big play they're indeed going for it as they look to throw flushed out right he's going deep for Brown it's incomplete took a shot couldn't connect a surprising move to go for it predictably at least somewhat predictably it doesn't pay off and boy that means this next drive is going to start at the three yard line and he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one second and goal from the one looking to throw jones looking in zone but it's incomplete Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver, but now it's third and goal. Back to throw. Jones. That's to Aguilar. Touchdown, Patriots. Nelson Aguilar. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots are an extra point away from going out in front. Putting always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. <laughs> Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Scramble drill there, partner. Some teams have some pretty good rules for it. Others are just saying, make sure you work your way back into the sight lines of your quarterback, even if you take the play deep. And that's what they attempted to do on that one, unable to connect. 
They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Whenever you see a quarterback break contain, just think to yourself, the receivers on that side of the field, their number one job, make sure they get in his sight line so he can try and find someone downfield. Guys on the backside, make sure you don't give up the deep ball. They tried it there. They weren't able to connect. Steps away to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Many times when a play breaks down and the quarterback's moving. just get rid of something short but a lot of guys are coached think deep take the big shot hoping someone can get lost behind the secondary they weren't able to connect on that one the three straight incompletions they don't care that hasn't dissuaded them they're gonna go for it on four they'll try and throw for it here and he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield and he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? Rolling to his right. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Sliding out of the pocket. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Forced out to his left. Going up top for Miller. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Patriots will take over here at their own 14-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. Now Jones on first down. This complete left side to Aguilar. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A big play there for the Patriots. And that certainly solidifies how to attack this two-minute drill right before the half. I don't think they were going to try and run out the clock, but now after that big play, they're going the And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Throwing on second and long. Jones, he completes it to Henry. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Jones throwing on third and long. He's got a man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Kendrick Bourne, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Extra point up and good by Bolt. And the lead is up to eight. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like... And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. 
Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. So we've reached halftime here at... All right, folks, eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half from the six. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. Back to throw now on first down. Dancing to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. Airing this one out for Evans. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So pass interference, the call, and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Back to throw here. They'll roll him out right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11 yard line. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here for this. Oh, he fakes a spike. Buying time to his left. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. He couldn't get the ball away on fourth and goal. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on downs. Now a throw here to his running back. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll make this a second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. And that's a run characteristic of Damian Harris. When he touches it, he gets not what's just blocked, but he gets a few more yards as well. He's been dinged up his first two years with the Patriots, only 10 starts a year ago. But you have to believe that this coaching staff thinks that he's capable of bigger and better things. A second and 10 now, third quarter action from Foxborough. Throwing again, Jones. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Off play action, Jones. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play there for the Patriots. 
Well, I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely, and when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Second and two. They'll look to throw again. Open man is born. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They run with Harris. Oh, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. This time able to hold on to the football, but not much room to run. Here's Jones throwing on third and long to the end zone, but it's incomplete. There is something to a game plan. We're trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. that play, they were unsuccessful. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. And Folk's kick is good. And that will extend their lead here to 17-6. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that could all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game, but as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. Out to his left. Bearing this one out for Evans. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Patsons are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Looking to throw, Jones. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Jones now on third down. He's got it complete to Avalor. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Jones on first and 10. Got the connection here to Bourne. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10 at their own 37. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's got Gronkowski yet again. Working with his second and four. Begin, begin, begin. 
So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They'll look to throw now on first down. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he'll try and throw it deep to the other side of the field. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I know that pass was incomplete, but I'm awfully impressed with how he was able to maintain his vision, because normally when you break out to the left that way, it narrows everything down, almost becomes a half-field read. But he's able to still see the entire planks. Oh, now it's strip. He loses the football. And they will advance this across midfield, but still well shy of a first as he's tackled at the 47. Fortunate to get that football back, because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity, because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. Bruce Arians takes a shot there, but his guys come up empty. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on down. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he'll get maybe a couple before he's taken down as that will take us to the two-minute warning. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Back to throw. Jones. That's caught over the middle by Asiasi. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance.